Now that is one freakishly large kit. Hey y'all and welcome back. In this video, I'd like to go ahead and look at the memory and status section of the construction window, okay? Now what we have here is pretty self-explanatory, but I want to cover it nonetheless. You'll see that there's a total box right here. This tells you the total size of the kit that you have loaded up at the moment. The next box under it says loaded. That represents the amount that has been loaded so far. Okay, and as you can see, I've got everything loaded up right now with the metal foundry kit. But what about the box under there? That's the status box. That's Superior's way of letting you know what's cooking. Let me give you an example. If I choose no sticks and then I hit the pad, you'll see that the not loaded message will appear. And likewise, when something is being loaded, it'll tell you that as well. Loading samples. So that is Superior's way of telling you what's going on, okay? Now if you look up here at these four buttons, I'm going to show these to you. The 16-bit button, when not engaged, indicates that you are in 24-bit mode. I have my settings so that the default kit always comes up as 16-bit. For purposes of this video, I wanted to show you the 24-bit version. Okay, but if you want to engage 16-bit at any time, you can simply press the button. You'll see the blue light, and the kit size drops dramatically. You'll see it's loading up right now. In addition to that, you'll see it says loading samples. What happens if I love this kit and my computer still can't handle it, for example? It cannot handle all of the resources required to play all of the pieces. What do you do? Well, that's where this button here comes in. This is called the cached button. Whenever I engage this and then I clear what has been loaded, you'll see nothing is going to be loaded. And that's the way cached mode works. It loads only what you need, and it judges what you need by what you hit. For example, watch the loaded meter here, and you'll see. I just now hit the snare drum, therefore it loaded the sound I needed. There you go, is rack time one, so forth and so on. And you can see how it says loading samples, but you may have noticed we're only getting one velocity. Let me show you the classic view right quick just to stress this point a little more. If I go on the lighter velocities and then I click upwards, you'll see it's going to do a lot of loading as opposed to just a few megs. Watch. See that there? And you can hear how it cuts out for a brief moment while it's loading. This is normal. And if I wanted, I could go through every kit and do the same thing. This is helpful if you have a computer that's limited on resources, or I could even see a good use for it if you were playing this in a live situation with a set of e-drums. You could load up a kit and press cached mode, and then hit the drums you need. It'll load only those drums. That could be relatively helpful, I would think. Now let's get back into the standard view. And you know what? I decided I want to go ahead and use this kit after all. So now let me just go ahead and press the load button and watch what happens. Now it's going to load the entire kit, cache mode engaged or not. Okay, it'll load the 16-bit kit. And likewise, if I were using the 24-bit version, even if the cache is engaged and I were to press load, it's going to manually load the entire kit for me. Let's say that I changed my mind. I clear it out. And then I go back to the way that I was doing it a moment ago whenever I had cached engaged. Now we're back to pretty much normal settings. And now you know what the memory and status section is for. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.